everyone, this is your girl Lilium here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another Star Skin face mask demo and review. This one is the anti-aging lift away mud sheet face mask with silk mud and green tea clay. On the different properties here in the front it says that it's deeply purifying, smoothing and lifting effects, tightening pores, amazingly brightening and skin conditioning. Among the ingredients are purifying kaolin clay, rejuvenating green tea powder, soothing allotoin, and plumping tremella mushroom, as well as brightening licorice root and smoothing adenosine, brightening mulberry, hydrating, hydrolyzed collagen, and soothing purslane. So if you haven't tried these ones before guys, the Lift Away Silk Mud Mask is ultra fine stretchable gauze saturated with kaolin. It's a revolutionary mud sheet mask infused with skin purifying ingredients. As always on the back we have the five steps to using this mask successfully. Number one is to clean your entire face and then you basically need to remove the mask from the sachet. <clears throat> which I'm gonna do right now. Flip here and we remove the mask from the container. In the silk mud masks there's no need for um, like with the other masks to distribute the serum because all of the ma this is not a mask with serum in it. This is a mud mask. So basically we open it here. Oh, it smells so good. Like a floral fresh um, smell then we remove the mask uh, gently it's quite stuck in here now this has two parts to it this face mask the first part is for your uh, upper part of your face and the other part is for your nose and mouth area then there are two layers on each side here's the green mask it's caught in between the two layers and we're gonna start by removing the clear layer of plastic. Be very careful with this, not to rip it. So take your time when doing when doing this part, guys. This is a clear part, and with the white part, we wanna save for last. Easily taking it off. It's very, very fragile, this mask. So extra care is needed. There we go. Now I'm going to show you the upper parts because this is the part we want to be putting on our face first. As you can tell and see, it's very, very fragile, the mask. Extra, extra caution is definitely a good thing. There we go. And then we want to use the white part here as the um, sort of guideline for where the mask is gonna go. Make sure to, uh, if you have long hair like me, to just tie it back a little bit in a bun so your hair doesn't get in the way. Then we adjust this to our face. And don't worry that this feels kind of rigid and really annoying because we are going to be removing the white part. So now that I have the proper fit, I'm going to start from one end. I look like some sort of superhero now. It's very hard to see if the mask is on there, but I'm gonna just gonna slowly go with it and adjust as we move along. Again, extra care is definitely required for this mask. I'm just gonna like try to fold it on top of my nose here. That <laughs> was really uncomfortable. Like, around, except for around the nose part, I fucked up a bit. This is probably as good as it gets. Now we take the under part and we try to find where the mouth would go and adjust the rest accordingly. As I go along, I just try to push in on it. Gotta be so careful, guys. Well, I think I did pretty good, except now I can't smile even if I want to. 
Now we leave it to dry for 20 minutes until we feel a tightening and lifting effect and the mask is completely dry. And the drying time may vary depending on your skin type and the climate. So let's wait you guys and I'll be right back with my results. Okay, I'm back guys and I can barely move my face. As you can see the mask has changed color and is now very dry and not very fragile at all. It's actually a very strong material. This part looks um, dark and wet and it's still a little bit damp but it's been 20 minutes so I'm just gonna pull it off now and it's like glued to my face. As you can see here it's like it's sticking really really well to my face. Whew. There we go. <laughs> and now you can truly feel that it's like gauze. It's very strong now. At the beginning I could almost not even touch it and it would fall apart. Then we have to rinse with warm water to remove the powdery residue. Uh, I'm gonna do something else. I'm just gonna use some cotton pads and some uh, micellar uh, water, some face cleanser, uh, to get it all off. Just gently gonna swipe it across my face, wherever the mask has been is where we want to cleanse it. Uh, there was still residue on my face. This is just from the mask. And now my face feels super tight. It feels very lifted and tightened. Uh, feel My skin feels a lot more firm and uh, yeah, like lifted in a sense. And step number five, it says, skin is deeply cleansed, pores are refined and appear smaller. Say hello to luminous and porcelain clear skin. And you can also leave the mask on for 40 minutes to maximize the dramatic lifting and contouring effect. So I don't know if you guys feel like my face is more contoured now than it was in the beginning. Let me know down in the comments and remember to give it a like if you enjoyed the video. And Kitty is here to remind you to subscribe for more awesome videos. I'll see you in my next video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check me out on Twitch TV where I stream, have a little chat with you guys and play some games. Link is down in the description. Bye guys!